Hello, my name is Chris Kurzik, and I'm the Principal Engineer at Athabasca Engineering Solutions, AES for short. And uh, what does AES do? Well, first of all, we provide third-party value evaluations. We provide training and certification. We provide equipment re-rating. Welcome back, folks. This is the beginning of a series of videos or episodes about a, a key design factor for designers and operators. It's called the minimum design metal temperature and it affects piping, um, tanks, pressure vessels in particular, and um, but a lot of other equipment, even even uh, rotating equipment, uh, these are issues that have to be ad addressed. And so um, there's a series of videos we're going to provide, and hopefully you'll find them interesting. So in this particular episode, we're going to talk about how MDMT is used. We're going to talk about materials and welding, introduce a term called MAT, and talk a little bit more, about, get more in depth about MDMT, what this all means. And then we're gonna look at the process side of it. So the process side means like the operating temperatures, how it started up, you know, at what point it's pressurized. I, and so so you, it's, it's a balance sheet, basically. You gotta make sure your equipment uh, is not operating in a brittle transition uh, phase when, you know it's 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 operating so you're so this there's a balance there and we'll we'll talk about that now let's look at the definition of mdmt this is one of the, the most heavily used definitions it says the lowest expected temperature at which a significant a load can be applied to equipment uh, initially i assume that that would be for for the the pressure envelope of equipment but that's not necessarily the case say for example you have a pressure vessel or a pipe rack that the equipment's being supported on um, that uh, if you're in a say a northern climate like Siberia or, or northern Canada Alaska then um, you need to consider the 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 temperatures of the structures part of the design, but if you are registering the pressure vessel equipment, uh, they are only interested in the the pressure envelope. So keep that in mind as we go through our uh, presentations. Now we'll talk a little bit about the philosophy of how minimum design temperatures are evaluated. It's like you need to evaluate each link in a chain uh, so, so, and determine which where the weakest link is which or in this case the the, the component the warmest component uh, and that basically the term is is also termed as the limiting factor so say for example the limiting factor in the mdt um, is is a nozzle assembly then some some clients may ask you what the limiting factor is for that design so um, each component must be evaluated and, and if you have a pressure vessel you could have you know 30 40 items and it's just simply accounting and um, is a moss uh, the he has a publication on pressure vessel he has an excellent example of um, you know how you would go ahead and and break each component down to, to do the analysis. So we're gonna throw some abbreviations at you. Um, we'll explain everything, don't worry. So the, the first one is the minimum uh, operating temperature must be less than the MDMT of the entire component. So what does that mean? Well, um, we talked about the chain in the last one about evaluating each individual component. So each individual component might be a, a shell, like one of the shell cans, or it might be a head or, or a nozzle assembly or, or a lifting lug or flange. And so 
each one of those components is the MAT. So as long as each, all of all of those components are less than equal than the M, DMT, then you know what the minimum, the actual minimum design metal temperature of the of the equipment is. And now, now we go to the other side. So this arbitrary MDMT. So the arbitrary arbitrary MDMT is chosen by the operator, the clients, and it based upon um, you know their experience. Maybe they they don't have the time to go through each equipment, but usually um, it's based upon what's available for for materials. So you've got your standard minus twenty nine materials, and then you've got you know, your minus 40-ish range of materials. And so that's something chosen by the client. And so the, C the CET is really more about the analysis of the process and to t making sure that that always has to be greater than the arbitrary MDT always has to be greater than the CET. So at the end of the day, are if we look at a, it's like a balance sheet we have the materials and the welding on one side of the equation and then the other side we have the the process and operating conditions let's look at some definitions and we'll start off with materials and welding one one important consideration before we begin is there's a couple terms uh, bear in mind that impact testing uh, is an important consideration and can add considerable cost to the to the price of a pressure vessel and equipment during construction. So especially the pressure vessel code, there'll be a lot of uh, uh, focus on whether something's to be like equipped materials are supposed to be impact tested or not. And there'll be a lot of uh, opportunities or exemptions um, for just to, to try to not do the you know, the impact testing if it can be done and so because of the high cost the designer should should ensure never to over specify and that's on both sides the client side the operator side and you know on the fabrication side as well on the operating side so that uh, you know because of the extra cost associated with that and also um, when we're making impact tested material there's a lot more testing and and there's a lot more stringent things and more things that can go wrong and and um, it's always easier to uh, work towards a simple a simpler type of design than a more complex one which is with the MDAMT requirements so the first definition is called exemption MDMT and that's the lowest temperature that a vessel can be operated at the design without component impact testing okay so um, that so this is a terminology that's used in the pressure vessel code and the other one is called a test so this is the lowest temperature even with impact you see one needed to use impact testing because you're operating you know in in the minus 50s and and it was just no way around it so in this case um there's there's a lower ceiling to that and it's the lowest mdmt for for tested for equipment now there's some more terminology here there's the minimum allowable temperature, which we alluded to earlier. And that's the lowest, the coldest permissible temperature that a material for a given a, a temperature for based on its, you know, the properties of the materials, the grade, the thickness, uh, for its, its, its resistance or uh, to brittle fracture. So, uh, and of course we always want we, we design equipment and using their ductile properties. So that's the MAT. So we use that for each individual component. So what we talked about, you know, the pressure vessel would have an, its own MAT and the heads would and so on. And so you add all those up and then that's, you figure out where the warmest MAT is and that's what it is for the vessel. 
uh, uh, an author by the name of Moss has an excellent example of MET in his literature. And I will provide a, uh, a reference to his at the end of um, at the uh, referencing to this presentation. It may um, one th also thing is it, there could be there, there could be a single temperature or an envelope of allowable temperatures as a function of pressure. But uh, and but you need to take the worst case of all those if you, for for the nameplate and uh, API 510 uh, has guidance and API 570 the piping and inspection code and service inspection reading repair uh, and alteration of piping systems. Now. The process side or the operating side, this is where your arbitrary M MDMT is used. So th there's guidance in, in, in ASME Section 8 Division 1, UG20, about, um, about the, the arbitrary M MDMT. And there's something also called the critical exposure temperature which we mentioned about earlier and and that has to do with a lot a lot of different um, conditions that have to be considered and so basically at the end of the day this is the lowest anticipated temperature which the vessel will be subjected to and depending on the operator some operators will require that the that the the arbitrary MDMT set must be a certain margin uh, lower than the critical exposure temperature. So um, basically, those are those are some pretty critical temperatures. Now I've got another one here called minimum safe operating temperature. And bear in mind, this is across a lot of different industries, so the terminology can can vary. Uh, I mean, we have the pulp and paper industry, you know, the, the uh, petrochemical industry. Uh, so we have a minimum safe operating temperature. There's another term. And that's when it operates in, in uh, particularly in cold service. These, these are terms that uh, you should be aware of. Now, if you look at ASME Section 8 Division 1, in particular UG20 Part B, you'll, you'll see some, some definitions uh, of process conditions. The, the, there's a term called auto refrigeration, for example, and it's defined as a temperature um, that the contents of a vessel would reach if the vessel were rapidly depressurized. Uh, up to 40% of the um, of the uh, MAWP, and you know that has to do with the terminology. Earlier, we talked about a minimum pressurization temperature, so you can sort of see how they're related. In this case, uh, the the pressure vessel code is talking about 40%, you know, uh, rapid change. And that can be uh, from different processes, such as the olefin and hydrocarbon processing industries can experience uh, auto refrigeration issues. Uh, we also have issues with, uh, you know, atmospheric temperature that uh, ASME warns about, and that's like the the supports underneath the structure. And then, of course, there's a hydro test fluids um, we have to make sure say for example we're testing with piping system with glycol then we have to make sure that we're not um, testing below the um, the MBMT the last couple issues as me warns against is uh, process upsets and that's like pressure temperature excursion type of things and and port points and and the port point can occur if you're if you're pumping for example low temperature fluids like glycols then the temperature um which 
the temperature at which a fluid becomes sort of a semi-solid and ceases to flow is sort of the definition of a of a pore point. And um, so that, but basically, this basically concludes our discussion about MDMTs. I hope that you found this presentation useful and valuable to you. This was provided by Athabasca Engineering Solutions. We'd love to hear your feedback and, and your thoughts on further videos. And we'd love to hear from you. Maybe we can do some business. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Take care for now. Mm -hmm.